Guys, the Fed are lying to us and I got the proof right here and with only about one day left until the next FOMC meeting where of course we're going to have massive volatility in the crypto markets, this is something you will want to watch. I'm going to go through everything here in this video as well as my trades I spoke about yesterday of course. So welcome back everybody, my name is Chris bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day teaching you how to make money in this market. If you are new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. And with that said, guys, let's get straight into it. And what we can see here is that from my video yesterday, we have seen a nice little pump here. When I made my video yesterday, I think we were somewhere along here. And as you know, I did talk about adding positions, not only talk, in fact, in that video, you saw me add these positions. I added one trade at um, 18,100 and one at 16,650. So this was to take advantage of any volatility, which we may see here very, very soon. And after adding that trade, we got so close to hitting it on 18,100 here. We were about $100 off from this particular trade. But I can see that a lot of people actually added this position a little bit higher. So at 18,300 approximately and then are now sitting at nice profits here from this point. So congratulations to everyone who did that. But look at this, just like clockwork, we go up, we have this pump up to my orange box and then you start to run into trouble and since that point you have seen that we have started to uh yeah consolidate a bit ab below this uh, orange box here and by the way guys i just want to take a minute here if these orange boxes recently have been helpful to you if you are not subscribed yet make sure to subscribe right now if these were helpful in catching this support level right here and then we saw massive support here, multiple weeks, and then we went down. We had a pump up to this orange box here, massive rejection from this point down to the level of uh, support here, again, orange box, and then breaking down and now meeting resistance. So this just shows the significance of these levels, guys. This is the way I like to trade. I think this is a um, pretty, I mean, trading is never 100% safe but uh, it's always a little bit of risk involved. But trading these massive support and resistances, it has been working so well for me and this is what I am trying to teach here on this channel as well. So let's look at this guys. The FOMC meeting yesterday is going to be super interesting. Also, before we talk about the Fed here, we do have on the daily time frame this bit of a formation, a little bit of a triangle here, and this is going to break sooner rather than later. I think in a couple of days, you're gonna see that possibly even tomorrow with the volatility. You do have the resistance here at 21,600, support at uh, 18,500. So we're watching that. But let's look at this because this is extremely interesting. So you know how the Fed have been projecting that they are going to taper and they are going to start to sell their assets. And it's projected to shrink. Well, we we're at right now at about... I think $9 trillion, it's projected to shrink down to, what is that, like $7 trillion by, by this year or next year, whatever. The numbers are not important here. What is important is what has been happening previously, and the blue line is, of course, the Fed balance sheet. What has been happening previously when they have projected and promised that they are going to start to taper? Well, let's look at what happened after the financial crisis. Right here, after the recession, they said, okay, we are going to start to taper here. We are going to start to unwind our balance sheet. And it was projected to shrink from $2 trillion down to, what is that? Uh, maybe $1.2 trillion. This was the projection. What happened? They immediately had to start printing money again. And their balance sheet, boom, straight up again. Okay, so now they say, we are going to start to taper again. This orange line, this was the projection in 2011. We're gonna shrink the balance sheet. It's gonna look like this. We are going to go down from, what is that? Just below three, uh, $3 trillion down to above uh, $2 trillion. This was the projection. What happened? Boom, we saw a little bit of a pump here. They started to print even more money. Okay, the projection in 2012, the purple line, this was the projection. What happened after that? Boom, massive money printing. And even right here, in the middle of this massive money printing, they said, look, we're gonna decrease the amount of money we print into the economy. Okay, we're gonna go up a little bit, but it's not gonna be that severe. Went up even more. 
And then we had a big one here in 2018. They said, look, this time we're really going to start to taper this off. We're not going to print more money. This was the projection. It was going to go down from $4.5 trillion, approximately, down to $3 trillion here. Um, what happened? We saw the biggest amount of money being printed ever. So this just goes to show that when they say that this is the projection, this is what they're going to do, well, history has told us, it has shown us, we have the proof right here that they do not do as they say. Now, is this time going to be different? Maybe it is, but just know that we have one, two, three, four, five times previously where they have said that they are going to do something, they're going to stop the money printing, yet it accelerated, not even kept pace, it accelerated. So this shows us that they do not have control of the situation. Now, short term, of course, we could see with the, the meeting yesterday, uh, tomorrow that they are going to be super aggressive, maybe because of this. But we do have the history right here. Let me know down in the comment section. Do you think that they are actually going to do something this time? Or are they going to fall into their old habits and start to print money again? Of course, pumping assets even more. Let me know down in the comment section. Because make no mistake, we are down significantly and we could go down even lower. Of course, we could go down even lower, uh, but we are at historical bottoming levels. If you look at every metric previously, we are in bottom vicinity. And guys, I want to show you this chart, but before I do, don't forget that we are running a massive competition here for OKX very soon. This is gonna have exclusive prices where you will have direct contact with me as well. So make sure to sign up for OKX and you are also able to claim a up to a $10,000 bonus here if you're interested in that. But let's look at this. This is the OBV indicator. This is a volume indicator. It takes into account all of the volume that has been traded on the network. And then you have a simple moving average. And what you can see here, and the Bitcoin price is above here, what you can see is that this channel has been extremely interesting previously. Whenever you go up to the top of the channel here, we usually do see a pullback for Bitcoin. You can see it right here, two times. Boom, 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 boom. We go down, this was the bottom for Bitcoin. Go up again, this was the peak for Bitcoin. We go down, these were the bottoms right here and right here. Go up, this was the top, and we are right now in this bottom in vicinity. So we already know, we have all of these indicators signaling that the bottom is already in. But the question is, is something going to radically change in the crypto markets? That is basically why people are you know, selling their crypto at this point. They're betting on all of the indicators, all of the metrics we've been seeing previously, signaling bottoms to not be valid anymore. Well, let me know, what do you think down in the comment section? And guys, that's what I got for you. Be prepared for the volatility tomorrow, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.